If you're in the market for a reloading press, you should definitely consider a five station progressive loader, especially if you're loading pistol ammunition. Hi, my name is Gavin Gear uh, from ultimatereloader.com. And in this two part video series, I'll walk you through the basics of understanding the features, materials, and construction of the Hornady Lock and Load AP five station progressive reloading press. So let's talk about some of the basic features of the Hornady Lock and Load AP. This is a cast aluminum framed auto indexing five station progressive reloading press. So at its heart, we have a cast aluminum frame and then we have cast iron two inch ram, which is actually quite substantial, uh, cast iron linkage. We have a steel handle that's used to actuate the press. So being a progressive press, that means that it has multiple die stations that are simultaneously acting on the cartridges being loaded when we pull the handle. So every time we pull the handle on this press, we get a completed cartridge in the completed cartridge bin. This is gonna be a huge time saver. Auto indexing means that when we pull the handle, it's going to automatically advance what's called the shell plate. Progressive presses have shell plates with multiple stations, five in this case, as opposed to single stage presses and turret presses that have shell holders because they only act on a single uh, stage of the process at a particular point in time. So every time we pull the handle, we have a completed cartridge. We have five up to five different stations acting at the same time. And since this is an auto indexing press, we don't have to flip anything. We don't have to worry about uh, double charges because we forgot to index or anything along those lines. So it's gonna be uh, efficient and it's going to enable us to load a lot of ammunition in a short period of time. So I wanna demonstrate what we just talked about, this auto indexing uh, progressive action. And with the Hornady Lock and Load AP, we have a unique feature that you'll see here. So when we pull the handle, we actually get a half index on the way up. So the shell plate just indexed halfway in between its old position and what its new position will be. So if you take a fifth of a complete turn, it's gonna do half of that on the way up. Now in station one, we have sizing and depriming. Station two, we have priming on the bottom and charging on the top. Station number three, we're not using. We could use a powder check die there. Station number four, we're seating. And in station number five, we're crimping. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So we've got powder that's flowed down here. We've got uh, sizing and depriming. The old primer is knocked out. We've got seating and crimping. And on the way down, we're gonna prime. So if we take a look at that case in station number two on the bottom, we've got a brand new primer there. So if you noticed, we had another half index on the way down and we're that fifth of the way from doing a complete rotation. So with five pulls of the handle, a case will make its way from station uh, number one where it's inserted all the way to station number five, in this case where we're doing the crimping and then the completed cartridge gets kicked into the completed cartridge bin. So uh, there's plenty more videos that show the full reloading process on ultimatereloader.com. Uh, what you can see here is how the Hornady Lock and Load AP works uniquely. And that's that it has this half indexing on the way up and half indexing on the way down. That's an exclusive. And one of the ways that that is helpful is that it's less jarring because it's rotating less on, e on either end of the um, stroke of the ram. And that's gonna mean less spilled powder. So let's take a look at dies and die stations here. So as I mentioned, one of the really neat things about the Hornady Lock and Load AP is this lock and load bushing system. So with an eighth of a turn, we can either release a die or we can insert a die. This is really great because when you are switching calibers, you're gonna be messing with your dies, removing them from the press, inserting them on the press. And even while you're loading, you're gonna be needing to manipulate dies. The powder measure can be removed in the same way, eighth of a turn, and you can remove that to empty it or, or change components. Uh, if we have a powder check die, and if we're using a die that uh, might need to be removed periodically, 
like the RCBS lockout die, we can just very quickly uh, investigate any press stoppages and in that way have a great balance between uh, safety and efficiency. And some of the other presses you'll need to actually unscrew the die when you're using that RCBS lockout die, that kind of thing. So just a couple examples of how this uh, lock and load bushing system is so efficient. So literally we can uh, take our dies, remove them, insert them. Here, like I mentioned, we're using separate uh, crimp and seat stations, which is nice because now we can just uh, manipulate our seating depth and our crimp independently. If you want to adjust your crimp and you're using a combo crimp seat die, when you adjust the crimp, you have to readjust your bullet seat position because you're changing the overall die height. With separate dies, uh, we don't have that problem, so we can streamline our setup process. And this is really where a five station progressive reloader uh, comes in handy. So the lock and load bushing system, one of the features I really like about this press. So one of the great features with the Hornady lock and load system for the AP press is the powder major. It has a, a large hopper that has a, a really nice capacity for, uh, especially when you're loading rifle cartridges, you're gonna be going through a lot of powder. So the capacity is good. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see in here, but we have a metal baffle that will help to uh, ensure consistent charge weights um, from the powder hopper being full all the way to the powder hopper uh, being empty. So it keeps a constant powder packing down where the rotating drum picks up the powder. So each time we uh, actuate the powder measure, uh, the drum is going to rotate up and that takes a predispensed quantity of powder and drops it down the drop tube. We can also use PTX expanders which allow us to expand the case mouth for pistol cartridge loading and charge with powder in the same station. So when it comes to using a uh, bullet feed system for instance, we're going to need a separate station for that bullet feed die. Combining the uh, charging and expanding into one station can help us to uh, optimize our die station utilization in that particular case. We also have the lock and load uh, metering insert system so we can very quickly uh, remove the powder major from the press and when we want to uh, change metering inserts, you can keep multiple meter metering inserts set for your favorite loads. We can just push this button over here and that allows us actually to pull the metering insert out. And if you um, rotate the drum into the halfway position, you can actually do that carefully without, uh, without spilling powder. Uh, this is cast iron construction. Um, this is an all metal uh, measure, uh, except for the cap and the hopper. So it's, it's definitely um, very sturdy. It's a lifetime uh, unit. We also have this stop bracket, um, which when you are using a combination uh, expander, um, PTX expander with the powder major, that allows you to fine tune the amount of case mouth belling, the expansion that you put on the case very easily by just loosening one of these nuts and screwing the screw. So that's uh, another great feature. But being able to take the powder major in and out of the press that quickly is really an invaluable capability because you're going to need to uh, dump your powder, change over components, that kind of a thing, and it's the most convenient powder measure to work with uh, from that perspective. There are multiple drums that come with the press. You've got a uh, pistol drum and a rifle drum, and these have different diameter bores so that you can get really consistent charge weights for pistol, and you can load large uh, charge weights for your rifle cartridges. And all that's included with the press. Here I have the optional um, micrometer metering insert. I have these for both pistol and rifle. And they are a nice capability because you can dial in different charge weights and you can have repeatable settings that you go um, to and from. Just record those in your re reloading logbook and you'll be uh, up and going in no time. So great powder measure system. Uh, you can also um, order multiple powder dies, the lower half, and keep those set to the right height for the particular cartridge that you're loading and that can uh, further enhance your caliber change over times. 
All right, so in this video, we've taken a look at some of the features and benefits of the Hornady Lock and Load AP Five Station Progressive Reloading Press. Be sure to stay tuned here on ultimatereloader.com for part two, where we'll finish our discussion of the overview of the Hornady Lock and Load AP and the case feed system.